y'all. I have remade this video about 10 times just trying to figure out if I should make this video, if I need to leave things where they're at. Um, you all responded really well to the video I made. The first one, I appreciate everybody's responses. Y'all knew that I was coming from the heart and I wasn't trying to come from a malicious place. And I literally remade my part two, three, two or three different times because I don't want to be malicious and I don't want to... I'm making a video to be entertaining. It's YouTube, but, but not malicious. Um, but I found out a lot of things the past few days that I didn't know when I made the original video. It's a lot that has gone on with these two that I didn't know. My video was based off of the Keisha I left a little bit into Jeremy coming into the picture. And the Keisha I knew of, I would kind of peek in on their life, watch a video or two here, but not really involved in her channel too much anymore. Um, I did a Jeremy impression in my other video that, that y'all won't see. That wasn't nice. Um, I really stopped watching her a little bit into him coming into the picture because he brought up the views because he's a nice looking boy. He's tall, good looking boy, but doesn't really have any personality, doesn't really bring anything to the, to the business, to be honest. It's like Jeremy's just standing here, right? And then Keisha's like dancing around him. Not literally, but in the sense of she's the hype person. She's making him look tolerable or interesting, but he's really not. And it kind of like altered the way I viewed the channel and so much about him. And this young lady was so successful in her own right. And I didn't start following the channel to hear about Jeremy. I just didn't. And listening to Jeremy is um, it's hard to do. That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to stop there. But anyway... On to the second video, or oh, why I'm making this second video. I didn't know that this boy was allegedly on lean, allegedly on pills, allegedly alcoholic, and this part's not allegedly, out here in these streets as much as he was. I didn't know any of that because I hadn't been following Keisha's videos because it just involved so much of him and I just didn't want to look at him. And, I, and I'm sorry to say it like that, but it's the truth. Um, it's like watching paint dry. But I didn't know all the things I know now. I didn't know that this is the man, this boy, and then the stealing, that weird thing he was doing, stealing. I mean, it's just horrible, horrible, horrible example for the kids to have in the house. And I'll get into that in a minute. But the second part, I keep looking down because I made some notes. Um, and I'm not going to say half of what I took down. It's not nice. There was a couple of things I wanted to make notes about or bring up that were in the book. So here's what I did. I didn't read the book. I'm not going to read the book, even though it's only four chapters. I watched a bunch of videos talking about the book. And I pulled the points that were very consistent, where everybody was saying the same thing. And those are the points that I'm going to make. Okay. I, you'll see in a video I'm calling this a telenovela overly rushed pamphlet. Because that's really what it was. And... It shouldn't have been released. Um, I understand making money. I understand being transparent. This is crazy. This is a crazy book. From everything I read with the videos and the reviews, it's crazy. Um, in my other second video that I ended up erasing or whatever, I did make this point. Jeremy appears to hate Keisha. He has done some heinous things and he seems like he wants to be out of the relationship but he has some things wrong with him and some cognitive issues I don't know if it's due to the drugs or what but he's not leaving well clearly well we don't know this for a fact but clearly because we have common sense it's tied, up, it's tied with the money um I didn't know that this boy had cheated on her well I knew he cheated the second time with the baby I didn't know he had cheated the first pregnancy. And then this is the second. I didn't know that when I read the first video. What? 
I didn't know that. Uh, I later found out about the condom thing, the busted condom breaking. There was no condom. It didn't break because there was no condom. This boy has been cheating. This girl thinks he's cheating with condoms. He's not. He's, he's busting in the moral. And the best way to soften the blow to your girlfriend that you got somebody pregnant is by saying, I was using protection, but the condom busted. If you're already cheating, you're not. He just stopped using protection. There, there was no condom and it didn't bust. I'm sorry. I don't believe that. I know. I know that's what was said. No. He busted in there raw. That's what he did. And I'm sticking to that. Though allegedly, I wasn't there, but I'm grown. And I've been booking for a long time, and that's what happened. But anyway, so that, that one thing about that with the cheating was just ridiculous to me. But I'm kind of going all over the place. Um, the book just, it shouldn't have been made. What was I about to say? What was I about to say? What was I about to say? Dang y'all, I'm sorry. Oh, the part in the book with Jeremy talking about his old, of uh, his eternal love to his ex-girlfriend. Like, this goes back into me saying, he hates her. Why would you make an ode of love to your ex-girlfriend in your current girlfriend's book? That's nuts. Or is it? Are we nuts? Who's nuts? That's nuts. He basically is letting this girl know, I want you. Look, I, this book, me and my girl wrote together. I'm talking about you. Please take me back. If you don't have me, I still want it to work. He's, he's yelling that out in the book. Uh, and the fact that Keisha still published that book is so weird, man. It's really bizarre to me now that I know what I know now. It's just all super weird stuff. But who treats a woman like that? Well, your part, the major part in your book is talking about how much you wish you had worked things out with your ex. And basically talking about, and basically Keisha just his homegirl. At this point, it appears, yeah, that's Keisha. Yeah, yeah, we got some babies. That's my homegirl. But this one girl I love, you know what? It's just... And then another part about, uh, dang it, y'all, my notes all of a sudden, I, I done made this video too many times again, but um, something she said in the book, I can't remember my other point, it's totally gone, and I don't think I have it in my notes, it's 2 o'clock in the morning, I'm sorry, and I've done this too many times, oh yeah, just me talking about making a quick buck, exposing yourself in life, and dignity and respect just to make a couple of dollars just it's not worth it no matter the money you make from this book is not going to be worth uh your dignity it never should have been written i keep saying that but it's true it never should have been written and um one of the last little points i wanted to make without me being vicious and over the top like i was in the second video i was planning to put up it's this is way more boring, and I know, but I had to, I couldn't do it. I had to um, say to myself, what kind of image do you want to present? What kind of person do you want to be? I want to be a positive, inspirational person who gives good advice to people. I don't want to be negative, and I don't want, I don't want to be vicious. I'm really good at being vicious, and I can, like, say something you make you want to knock my fronts out. Like, I can really be vicious, and that's something to be proud of. You know, and I want to move away from that as a person. I really wanted to make some jokes about Jeremy, but I ain't going to do it because it's, it's not right. It's not right. Um, lastly, one thing I did want to say, I don't know if I've heard Keisha just outright say this, but I'm sure she's implied it. Um, and this is one part where I do have to be mad at her about and really call her out. And I will say this, Keisha, if you are staying and keeping your family together, for the kids, you are lying. I don't know if you're in denial of the lie or not, but you are lying if that's the reason why you're keeping the family together. No woman in her right mind, and you are in your right mind. Yes, you're in love, but you're smart. No woman in her right mind would have an allegedly 
drug addicted, lean alcohol pill addicted, allegedly, man in, in the house, baby daddy or not, around those little baby girls. He's a danger in that state to those girls. He shouldn't be in that household right now. He needs to really be looking into rehab, therapy, the theft, the stealing stuff, that's some weird behavior too. Not like super dangerous, but just bizarre. But the uh, alleged drug addiction, that man doesn't need to be in the house. I do suspect it's really about keeping that man because I'm so tired, I'm sorry. You are not setting a good example for those girls keeping their father in the home. He is not the best father he can be right now. He needs a lot of help and he shouldn't be in a household with those baby girls. He's not a good example of a man, let alone father right now. And he is not going to, what you're doing right now and the example you're going to set is showing those girls how to let a man mistreat them. You're showing those girls how to be disrespected over and over and over again. You're showing those girls how to deal with different forms of, of, of abuse. I'm not saying Jeremy's hitting you. I'm not saying Jeremy's cussing you out. But the way this man's done you is abusive. And some people might not see it that way, but that's what I call it. Now, is it, is it abuse that you've allowed to keep happening? Yes. But it is abusive and it's cruel. And um, you're showing those girls to learn how to take a whole lot of bullshit off a man. You're not showing those girls anything good by keeping their father in the house. He's not... Y'all, people don't understand what they expose their kids to when they think they're trying to keep the family together. But in the end, it's not really about keeping the family. It's never really about that. In the end, when somebody's like him or a lot of messed up guys, it's about you wanting to keep the man. About you willing to forsake your own children to keep that man. He has no business in the house with those girls, but you want to keep that man. So... In order to deal with your crippling, and I'm sorry, I'm sorry for saying this, but in order to deal with your crippling abandonment and self, low self-esteem issues, you are going to forsake those girls to keep that man in the house, to keep a piece of your up in that bed. And it's really also about winning. Yeah, it's about winning, and it's about ego, ego and winning, low self-esteem, ego, winning, abandonment issues. You'll forsake those girls because of those things to keep that man in the house. You get to be the baby mama that won. You're going to show them. You're going to show this new baby mama. That's my man. I'll win. I'll be your best friend. I'll have that baby all up in my house. I'll be the best original baby mama ever. And this man's going to love me more than he loves you. He's not going to cheat. He is going to, I'm going to be so spectacular, so wonderful. Even though you got a baby with my man while we were together, I'm going to be so amazing, so wonderful. I'm going to win. You're going to lose. That's what this is all about, ego and winning. Having that baby in the house. That part in that other video where you said, in order to show respect to the woman about... Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to say anything wrong. I'm rude. But um, you are doing a girl a disservice keeping a father in the house who's like him at this stage in his life. He needs a lot of help and he has a lot of stuff wrong. And I really want to be shady right now and go ahead and say it. What the fuck is your mom doing? Does she live with y'all, I thought? Has she squared up on that nigga yet? I mean, like, he is dogging you out. Is your mom just, what is she doing? My mom died in February. My mom, if she knew I was getting done like this, my mama would beat, my mom was a thug. Though. My mama would beat a nigga's ass. If she knew I was getting done like this, she'd be ready to fight him. That's the shady thing I'm going to say. I'm sorry, I'm not going to say nothing else shady. But where are your friends at? Why are they, okay, see, I'm still doing it. But I'm just wondering, where, why are people watching this and let, God dang, where are your people at to support you? 
to get out of this situation. See, that's why I didn't want to say nothing else like shady because I started getting passionate and I started getting mad. And when I was at work, I couldn't talk the way I wanted to talk, which is good because I don't need to. Let me stop. Don't forsake those girls to keep a man in the house because of your issues. You now have three girls to be an example for. Keeping daddy in the house is not setting a good example. Daddy's got a lot of stuff wrong with him. And it's going to mess him up later. Keeping the thing together for the girls is not. That's not the right. That's not the right. That's not the right decision here. Okay. For real, for real. For real, for real. Last point, for real. This is my couple last little quick points. On the business end. Please. While you can save your brand before it starts to dwindle, that book was a mistake. Before your brand starts to do, to dwindle, take that name, take Jeremy off your page and just put Keisha Anderson and start showcasing yourself more and kind of push him out the way. He's about to bring your brand down. You worked so hard over these years to build your own brand before he ever came into the picture. And his appearance did rise the, the numbers, that's a fact. But he did not establish the grassroots brand you did. He's going to bring your brand down. Take him off of your page name and get him out of your house. You're about to mess up those girls' lives. And you're about to mess your brand up. It, let me stop. Bye.